I'm Thomas, and this Hang On Skimmer from Aquamax has gotta be one of the best hang on the back skimmers I've ever personally used. It did a fantastic job on a 20 gallon SPS dominated reef that I had, as well as a budget 40 gallon breeder frag system. It's well thought out, the design is simple to understand and easy to use, and it gets the job done well when you don't have a sump and you don't wanna waste space inside of your tank with an internal skimmer. Now, when it comes to hang on skimmers, reefers just plainly have less options because let's face it, most modern reefers are either using all-in-one systems or have an overflow and sump. But reefing on a budget with a standard undrilled tank shouldn't mean you can't get a protein skimmer that works well while being easy to use, reliable, and affordable. The HOB 1.5 from Aquamax is an effective hang-on skimmer that's well rated by the reefers that use them. They're compact, quiet, easy to use, and do a great job of hauling out waste. They're also an excellent way to get the other benefits that skimmers provide, like gas exchange and even a nice pH bump, especially if you hook up that air silencer to a CO2 scrubber. That way, those of us who are reefing without a sump and don't want a whole internal skimmer muddying up the display can still rock a proper skimmer on our tank and quite affordably, I might add. When you open up the box, you'll find the skimmer body, the skimmer cup, the intake and output assemblies, the diffuser, the cover with the built-in air silencer, a pack with air tubing, O-rings, and a single long nylon screw, as well as the CJ skimmer pump and the instructions. This HOB 1.5 actually comes in two different versions. The standard version that I have here and also one that includes the optional bubble stopper attachment for the outlet, but fear not, even if you have the standard version, you can always pick up the bubble stopper separately if you need it. These skimmers are rated for up to 40 gallons of heavy bio load and up to 75 gallons of light bio load. The skimmer is quite compact for a hang on model at just seven and a half inches across, three and a half inches thick and 17 inches tall and will fit nicely on panels up to three quarters of an inch thick with the intake and output pipes needing roughly three and a half inches of clearance into the tank. The skimmer is well built from both acrylic and PVC components, and the assembly instructions have great diagrams to help you along. Truthfully, it is a little bit more involved than some skimmer assemblies, but after you've done it once, it's a breeze, and you'll be very familiar with the simple anatomy of the skimmer, which is gonna make maintenance down the line really simple. Speaking of anatomy, the boxy exterior of this skimmer is actually hiding a number of curvaceous components, including the dividing plate, which creates a smooth transition for those bubbles to travel up the body, similar to the wine bottle shape we see in many in-sum skimmers. The diffuser plate's pretty novel and sports a collection of beer bottle shaped nozzles, and the collection cup itself has a tall inner neck that's also gently curved to help get those skimmate laden bubbles up into the cup before popping. One more reason I really like the skimmer design is because the pump is actually inside of the skimmer body rather than inside of the aquarium. Yes, it does mean that you need to prime the pump by filling the body of the skimmer with water when you start it up, but more importantly, it keeps that workhorse CJ pump out of the tank where it would be much more of an eyesore. Instead, we get relatively unobtrusive intake and outflow tubes that will also allow you to direct where the outflow water is sent using a 90 degree PVC elbow. As far as noise is concerned, it does have an air silencer that works well and overall is one of the quietest hang on skimmers that I've personally used, but you do have to keep in mind, it is right up at the top of the tank where it's much easier to hear compared to skimmers that are tucked under a stand. So just temper your expectations accordingly. The collection cup has an overflow port right up at the top to make sure that in the event the cup fills up and wants to overflow, it can do so back into the skimmer body where it's safe rather than onto the floor. It is a super important feature to have on a hang on skimmer. You don't want wet floors. So I'm really glad to see it's there. I do have one tip though, and recommend using a small zip tie to lock that tube in place for added safety. Once the skimmer's primed and running, you can control whether to collect a wet or dry skimmate by adjusting the height of the collection cup within the skimmer body, which is as simple as moving that red O-ring around the cup so that it sits higher on the cup if you wanna raise the water level or lower on the cup if you need to lower the water level within the neck. 
While there is no valve included, you could also very easily add an inline air valve to that Venturi tube if you also wanted to be able to dial in the air to organics ratio, but I do find the skimmer's rating is pretty accurate, so many reefers will likely find that they don't need that extra point of control. When it comes to maintenance, removing the cup is really easy, which is excellent because it is a relatively small collection cup, which means you're going to be dumping it out fairly regularly, especially if you have it on the max rated tank size, and that's max with two X's because it's Aquamax, right? Eh? It's also fantastic that just about every part of the skimmer comes apart for cleaning and being quality acrylic and PVC, a simple citric acid bath works extremely well to get rid of any calcareous algae buildup, then a quick wipe down and a rinse, and it'll be ready to go back into action, pulling out that nasty skimmy from your sumpless reef like a quality skimmer should. And if that sounds like it matches your reefing mantra, you can pick one up for yourself by clicking right here.